Hello everyone and welcome to Mail Time, given to me by Keila Vanderdelge. I hope I cr pronounced that correctly, so I'm really sorry if I pronounced that wrong. This is Mail Time, I said, and I have no idea what I'm getting into, apart from postal delivery service maybe? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, inclusivity, guys. We need it. She, her, they, them, he, her. Hairstyles. Oh, wow. Okay. I like the hairstyles. <laughs> You know what, let's go with this because I, I, yeah. Do they have a, okay, so the light blue is pretty much that, okay. I'm actually more Asian style, so that works, okay. Outfit colour, hmm. Actually, I like that, okay, backpack colour, okay, uh, backpack colour and style, I should say. Oh, I like that, okay, backpack colour. Let's go with that. And glider colour? Huh. Well, this seems the other one out because it's a newspaper and the other seems to be envelopes. So let's go with that. We will go with catas catastrophe. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, well, that's a cute little van. Are we there yet? No. Hmm. How about now? No. What about... Stop! Will you shut up if I tell you where we're going? Promise! Alright. Now don't get too excited, but today is your first solo delivery. What? Yes! My ears! Oh, sorry. Right, so... Okay, so you've got it, right? Yep. Wait, no. One more time? Listen closely this time, then. You, you, catastrophe. Me, catastrophe. <laughs> you go. Need to deliver that letter in your backpack to a someone named Greg. Greg the Garlic Farmer! Deliver a letter to Greg. Since it's your first day on the job, first but not least, right, yes. You probably know a bit more about what it's like to be a male scout. Yes, sir, Janet. I mean, ma'am. I'm top of my class at Male Academy. Oh, well, I'm in the top ten-ish. I'm ready to learn. Well, it's one thing to learn from the books. It's another thing to learn in real life. Male scout official... Handbook, page 12. Good one, Janet. Try me on another one. Scout, what did we say about the interrupting thing? Not to do it? Yes, please try. Before you're ready to deliver your letter, Greg, we should do a practice run. See that turtle over there? I want you to give them this note from me. You might just get something special for it. Are you ever going to eat that sandwich, by the way, Janet? In case you forgot how your legs work. You can use WASD to walk around. Hi, hi, Captain Jen. Be ready back. Be ready back. Be right back. Hi. Hi. Are you here for an autograph? No. Oh. Do I have to get mail signed before I can deliver it? I don't remember that from the handbook. Oh, no. I meant, do you want my autograph because I'm famous? Oh, what for? I'm a track star in training for my next race. Are you going to go against a hair by any chance, Shelby? Speedy Shelby, they call me. Your name is Shelby, then this letter is for you. Oh, fan mail? Of sorts? Let's see it then. This is a fake letter. Just pretend that you're reading it. It's her first delivery. Oh, I see. Is, your, is that your supervisor over there? That's Janet. She's my boss. Or something like that? I'm not really sure. In that case, I accept this letter. It was delivered to me following mail scout protocol. I am ecstatic with the service I have received. Five stars. No, wait. Four and a half stars. Why the four and a half? You didn't want my autograph. Oops, sorry. By the way, do you happen to know where Greg is? Not currently. My brain is on sport mode. Information irrelevant to exercise can't be accessed right now. I was half expecting him to say, please try again later. Maybe Egbert knows? He's clever. Squirrel man, can't miss him. Asking around is the best way to find people around here. Thanks for the tip. 
Bye, Shelby. Peace out, little scout. I wonder if peace out's from like that Finding Nemo turtle. Oh, the graphics are really pretty. And I love how fluid the animation actually is, because sometimes you get things and they're not so fluid. Can't miss him, he says. Can't miss him. But maybe further up here? Can't miss a squirrel, he says. Can't miss a squirrel. There's someone over there. Can I stand on these? Oh, I can. That's perfect. Haha, -ha, I'm smart. Psst. What? Oh, hello. What's going on? You have to whisper. I'm afraid Mum will find out what happened. Your mum? Yeah, her name is Daisy. She's not close by. Even with Biggest, she won't be able to hear you. Okay, if you say so. Well, I have a bit of a problem. I love the stars. They make me feel so excited. Did you know that stars are really far away? But with a telescope, you can see them as if they're very close. That's adorable, telescope. Isn't that cool? For sure, it's like you're right next to the stars. But that doesn't sound like a problem, really. Well, I was looking through the telescope at the stars. There was a meteor I was trying to see. Oh, meteors are like stars that are flying. Did you know that? No, oh, that's so cool. As I was trying to find the meteor, I was swinging the telescope around a bit. Turns out I was swinging it a bit too much. Before I knew it, the telescope was broken. And now the stars are far away again. Can you help me fix it? Not a problem. It looks like the lens is broken. It's the bit of thick glass inside the telescope. Oh, I know what part you mean. So the lens from a pair of glasses would work? That could work great. Okay, well, I did see some around, but I don't really remember where. It was either near Kiki or Donna. Don't worry, Snowdrop, I'll figure it out. Thanks, Catastrophe. And please don't tell Mum. Wouldn't dream of it. I'm no snitch. Wink, wink. Okay, that's the turtle. Do I take full damage if I fall? I don't think I would. This game seems too child friendly to allow me to take full damage and die or to that nature. Let's have a look. What is that up there? Oh, it's just a lid. Okay. Can't miss him, he says. Well, I don't know. That's a glowy thing. Well, that's a glowy thing. What is a glowy thing? I don't know what that was, but I got a glowy thing. Who are you? Male Scout. Oh, that's Kiki. Come here. I need you to send a letter for me. Oh? What you sending? A cease and desist. <laughs> to a child that crossed me. That seems a bit overkill. I'll have you know. This child robbed me in broad daylight. Oh, God. Did they add a Karen character to this game? I was walking with my coin collection. The bag was open. I was letting the coins breathe the fresh air. Then I was interrupted by Vermin Child. Yep, it's a Karen. I think the name was Cedar. She saw the glistening of light and was stated by my coins. But I only had so long to walk before I had to get back to my business. The landlord business, you see. Truly time consuming. Anyway, I must say seeing a young fellow coin enthusiast, it was nice. It's not a popular hobby around here. I generously offered that Cedar admired my coins for one hour only and bring them back immediately well scout it's been 61 minutes and my paws are empty they're late by one minute one minute now i must resort to stronger measures or else this child will walk all over me nobody misses me Kiki. don't you think this is disproportionate cedar is only a minute late if you were paid to ask questions wouldn't you be called a question scout well, I mean... Oh, but you aren't a question scout. You're a male scout. And I have mail for Cedar. So why don't you run along and deliver it? Fine. Good. We agree. I do not like you, Kiki. I thought I'd like you because you're a cat. But no, I do not like you. I really don't. Oh, wait. I was meant to head back to Janet. Oh. Okay, so apparently I'm in run automatically, and hitting shift actually makes you walk. Fair enough. Okay, so I don't need to press space again to open up the thing. It ultimately do it. I just need to hold. Not press. Okay. 
Chief Janet, I'm back. Visibly. And I heard you gave the letter to Shelby. Huh? How did you hear that? Shelby's literally just... <laughs> My character's so stupid. Wasn't easy to miss. Good job, Scout. That means you've earned your first patch. Congrats, you've earned the Stanton signed patch. With love, Mail Scout. Woo! Yippee! So us scouts work on a patch system. Once you've done something noteworthy, you earn a patch for it. With every patch, you get a little bit closer to being a real mail scout, and you get a little bit better at mail delivery. For example, you might have noticed that you can jump by pressing spacebar. Well, by holding spacebar, you can go as well. What do you think I've been doing? You've not been keeping an eye on me. That's amazing. I'm literally never going to touch the ground ever again. Uh, you're touching the ground right now. Well, sure. Why not dream big? Anyway, when you deliver that letter to Greg, you'll get your official male scout patch. You'll be a full male scout for real. I can't wait. Good luck with us three. I'll be here if you need me. Thanks, Mom. I mean, Mrs. Mail. I mean, Janet. Wait. Oh, don't forget. You can press H to check your deliveries and patches in your handbook. Nice book. This should be good enough for carving, right? For... okay. Anyway, guys, I am sadly all out of time. I need to get the name again. Kila van der Deesh. Delsh. Unfortunately, guys, I am all out of time and my character looks tired as it is. Thank you so, so much, Kara van der Deesh. I am so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. For allowing me to play mail time, it's so adorable. It really is. And I really love the character customization as well. Holy hell, I look adorable, but I can't see anything from those bangs. Guys, if you like the content I am putting out, link to my coffee is in the description below. Is that bee licking her face? Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye for now. Wait, no, hold on. This face is the other direction. <laughs>